Acclaimed throughout the world as one of the greatest vocal artists of our time, William Warfield was a star in every field open to a singer's art. Born January 22, 1920 in West Helena, Arkansas, into a family of sharecroppers, William Caesar Warfield was the eldest of five sons. While still a small child, his father decided to move his family north to Rochester, New York, in order to seek better educational and employment opportunities. As a high school senior, young William Warfield won the district award for the National Music Educators League vocal competition, which included a scholarship to the music school of his choice. The following fall, he began study at the Eastman School of Music, where he received a bachelor's degree in music. After graduating, he served in the military for four years as an army intelligence officer in the Second World War, and then returned to Eastman to study for his master's. In 1947, William Warfield began appearing in New York theaters, by the time he was 30 years old, he had won rave reviews in a sensational debut at New York's Town Hall in March 1950. After a concert tour in Australia in 1950, he sang the role of Joe in Showboat in New York 1951. In 1952, Mr. Warfield performed in Porgy and Bess during a tour of Europe sponsored by the U.S. State Department. He played opposite the opera star Leontine Price. They soon were married, but the demands of two separate careers left them little time together. They divorced in 1972. In 1975, Mr. Warfield gave a sold-out concert at Carnegie Hall, marking the 25th anniversary of his New York debut. In 1984, he received a Grammy Award for his narration of Aaron Copland's A Lincoln Portrait. As one of the first African-American male singers to make an international career in classical music, William Warfield is an American musical legend. He sang everything from grand opera to Broadway shows and from oratorio to jazz. His true passion was German leader and their counterpart, the African-American spiritual. was introduced to the spiritual in my father's church. I grew up on it. For me, the spiritual is as necessary as eating and sleeping. In the course of a career spanning more than half a century, his incomparable voice and charismatic personality earned him the title of America's Musical Ambassador. Among his frequent appearances in foreign countries, this artist made six separate tours for the United States Department of State, more than any other American solo artist. Had Mr. Warfield been born a half a century later, he likely would have become a major operatic star. Instead, as he observed in his memoir, My Life and My Music, in 1991, opera wasn't ready for me, or any black male. When I was a youngster, blacks had no access to opera at all. Mr. Warfield remained an active performer until his death from a fall at his home on August 25, 2002. His career of more than 50 years encompassed radio, television, movies, opera, the concert stage, and academic life charting a course for the black classical singer that hadn't existed before and that many young singers now emulate. Tonight we remember William Warfield.